Hi, this is question number three from the AQA Further Pure for January 2013 exam paper. Uh, what I'd like you to do for the first part of this video is see if you can try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at the question. Okay, what if you manage to have a go? The next part of the video I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. We need to find the general solution of this equation here given our answer in the form sorry in terms of pi so um, first of all um, what you want to do is think about the sine graph so find a solution for 2x plus um, pi over 4 and then decide how frequently that um, repeats itself and then using symmetry find another solution for 2x plus pi over 4 and decide how frequently that repeats itself once you've got to um, solutions for 2x plus pi over 4, you can simplify those solutions and put them in terms um, of, sorry, simplify those solutions and, and find out what they are for, for x. Okay, uh, for part b, um, we want to use our general solution to find the exact value of the greatest solution of this equation, which is less than 6 pi. So what you want to do is you want to decide what values of n that you, um, sorry, what value of n you can put into your general solution that would make it less than 6 pi. Um, and use the greatest value of n that that's, that works for. And then um, solve the equation for that value of n. Okay, so if you'd now like to pause the video um, and have a go at answering the questions and I'll go over the answers shortly. Okay, for the next part of the video I'm going to go over the solutions of the questions. I'm just going to pop this over here. So for part A, um, I'm going to start by um, finding our principal value of root 3 over 2. So we should know that that's um, pi over 3 radians is 60 degrees, so pi over 3 radians. So I can say that 2x plus pi over 4 is going to equal pi over 3 radians, which will be about here somewhere. Okay, so that's roughly, that's pi, and that's roughly pi over 3. So we can see that this is going to repeat itself um, 2 pi radians later, and then 2 pi radians later again. So actually it's going to repeat itself every, let me just say 2n pi radians, yes? Yeah, so any multiple of 2 pi radians, it's going to repeat itself. Okay, so that's one of my solutions, but you might be able to see there's another solution that's going to be here. Now that solution there, well if that's going to be pi over 3, and this is pi down here, this is going to be pi take away pi over 3, or 2 pi over 3. So that means that another solution for, um, and I'll, I'll write it in a different colour over here, so another solution for 2x plus pi over 4 is going to be equal to 2 pi over 3 okay and that's that one there and again that one's going to repeat itself every n pi radians sorry every 2 pi radians so that's going to be plus 2 n pi again okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, s s solve these equations for x. So um, for the first one, um, if I take away pi over 4 from both sides, that means I'm going to have 2x is equal to, and that will be, um, a common denominator will be uh, 12, so that will be 4 pi over 12 take away 3 pi over 12, which will be pi over 12. plus 2n pi so that means x is going to be equal to and I divide everything by 2 so that will be pi over 24 plus n pi 
pi over here we'll do the same thing for this solution over here so um, that means that 2x is going to be equal to and this will be 8 pi over 12 take away 3 pi over 12 so that will be 5 pi over 12 plus 2m pi and over here we're going to have x is equal to 5 pi over 24 plus n pi okay so we're going to have these two solutions here uh, right okay next part part b okay we want to use the general solutions to find the exact value of the greatest solution of this equation which is less than 6 pi so um, I need to choose a value of n that is going to um, make this less than um, 6 pi so as you can see I could choose 1 2 3 4 5 but if I chose 6 then the value of this would be 6 pi plus pi over 24 which is obviously bigger than 6 pi but 5 pi plus pi over 24 would still be um, less than 6 pi um, similarly over here I can choose 1 2 3 4 5 6 would be too big um, but 5 would keep it below 6 pi this one is going to give me a greater solution that's going to be closer to 6 pi so I'm going to um, say that n is equal to 5 and I'm going to put a 5 into here so x is going to be equal to 5 pi over 24 plus 5 pi um, and that's going to say well then x is going to be equal to um, 5 pi over 24 plus and I'm going to write that in terms of um, sorry with the denominator of 24 so that's going to be 120 pi over 24 so that means my solution for x is going to be equal to 5 pi plus 120 pi which is 125 pi over 24 there we go okay and there you go so there's our solution for that one there thanks very much for joining me hopefully you found that useful i look forward to seeing you again soon take care